Okay, this lesson is a continuation of section 2.1. Um, we're going to learn about medians today, medians of a triangle. Okay, so what is a median? A median is a line segment joining a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So what you see right here, this green line, that's the median of this triangle from vertex C. So the median from vertex C goes from point C to the midpoint of the opposite side, so to the midpoint of AB. Okay. If I wanted the median from vertex A, that would look something like this. It would go from A to, oh, it should go to the midpoint of BC. Okay. Uh, the median from vertex B would go from B to the midpoint of AC, the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, but in this picture right here, it shows you the median from vertex C. So it shows you the line that goes from C to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, and what we're going to be doing today is finding the equation of medians. Since the median is a line, we know the equation of the line should be in the form y equals mx plus b. That's slope y-intercept form. Remember, m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, x and y stand for the coordinates of the points on that line. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an example. So example one, find the equation of the median. So equation, so it's asking us for the equation in slope y-intercept form, mx plus b. Okay. Find the equation of the median. That's a y there. Find the equation of the median from vertex b for the triangle with coordinates a, b, c that you see here. Okay. So we want to find, let's just, here's a rough sketch of the triangle. Okay. The points don't have to be in the right spots. Just, just draw a rough triangle, label points. Um, that way you can know what we're looking to find and which points to use um, for, which, for, for each step of the question. Okay? So what we need in order to write the equation of the median from vertex B, first of all, let's, let's think about what, what the median from vertex B looks like. Based on the definition, it's a line segment joining a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the median from vertex B is the line that goes from B to the midpoint of AC. Okay? So in order to find the equation of this line, we need the slope and the y-intercept. We need both those pieces of information. In order to figure out the slope, we need two points on this line. We know one, we know it goes from vertex B, and we know it goes to the midpoint of AC. We can figure out the midpoint of AC, no problem. We learned how, uh, in last lesson, we learned how to find the midpoint of a line segment. Okay? So we can figure out the midpoint of AC. So that's step number one, figure out the midpoint of um, the side opposite the vertex we're going from, so side AC in this case. Next, we use those two points to find the slope of that line. Remember the formula for slope, if we have two points, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, That's no problem, we can find the slope of that line. We then can find the y-intercept, no problem, because we know the slope. We know two points on the line, so we can plug in either of those points for x and y, because x and y stand for all of the points on the line. And then we can solve for b, because we'll be able to sub in for m, x, and y. Okay? And then we can write our final equation by writing by filling in for m and b. Okay? So let's do this example. So we want to find the equation of the median from vertex b. So we know we need to first find out what the coordinates of the midpoint of the side opposite b is. Okay, so we need to find the midpoint of side AC. So we'll label point A our x1, y1, um, point C our x2, y2, and use our midpoint formula and plug in our information and find the midpoint of AC. So add the x coordinates, 0 plus 8, and divide by 2, and add the y coordinates, 2 plus negative 2 and divide by 2. Okay, that way we find the average or the middle of those two endpoints. 0 plus 8 is 8. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Simplify. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So our midpoint of AC is 4, 0. So I now know what this point is. So now really all this question is asking us. Okay, so this is 4, 0. All this question is asking us is to find the equation of this line. And we have two points on the line. We can do that. Okay? All we now have to do is find the slope of this line. Step number two, find the slope of that line. Okay? I'm going to call this point D. You can call it whatever you want. Okay? 
So I need to now find the slope of the median. Okay? So I need to find the slope of B, which is 6, 6, D, which is 4, 0. Okay? I'll call this my x1, y1, and this is my x2, y2. Okay? I need to find the slope of this line that connects those two points. Plug it into my slope formula of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I do 0 minus 6 over 4 minus 6. Simplify, I get negative 6 over negative 2. Negative divided by negative gives me a positive answer. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my slope of my median equals 3. Okay. Um, make sure when you're finding the slope of the median, you're using these two points. Okay. You only use these two points to find the midpoint. Okay. We, when you're finding the slope of the median, make sure you use the two points that are on the median. Okay. I just put a little note of that down here. Okay. That's why you make the sketch so you don't start confusing which points you should be using when. Okay. Next step, find the y-intercept of the median. So we know the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. We know the slope. We just figured out the slope is 3. So I can sub in 3 for slope. Now to solve for d, I'm going to have to sub in for x and y. Okay. I know x and y stand for all points on that line, the line of the median. Okay. So I can choose either point b or point d to plug in for x and y. Those both have x and y coordinates. Choose either of those points to plug in for x and y, and they'll both give me the same result when I solve for b. Okay? Don't plug in point A or point C. Those points are not on the median. Okay? Point B and point D are the only points on this median here. Okay? So choose either of those. I'm going to choose D because it has a zero in it, and zeros are nice to work with in math. Okay? So I'm going to choose point D, plug in for x and y. So y is zero, x is four. Good. So 0 equals 12 plus b. Move the 12 to the other side to get b by itself. 12 becomes negative. So my b is equal to 12. So I can now write the equation of my line. I know b equals negative 12. I know my slope is 3. And that's all I need to write the equation of any line. It's just the slope and the line intercept. I don't plug in for x and y when I'm writing my final answer. I just plug in for m and b. Okay. y equals 3x minus 12 is the equation of the median from vertex B. Okay. I could have asked you for the equation of the median from vertex C. That would be the line going from C to the midpoint of AB. So you'd be using, you'd have to find the midpoint of AB, then the slope of that line, okay. and then the y-intercept of that line. But I didn't ask you for that in this question. I asked you for the equation of the median from vertex B. Okay. Let's try another example. This one's going to have some fractions, and this time we're going to find the equation of the median from vertex C um, for the triangle that has points A, B, and C, the ones you see here. Okay, so the same points that you uh, that we used in the last question, but this time we're going to find the equation of the median that goes from C. Okay, so just like I was just talking about. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're just going to make a rough sketch. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't have to look exactly like the one we drew before. We just have to orient ourselves draw a triangle, and label the three points, A, B, C, and I know the coordinates of those points, 0, 2, B is 6, 6, and C is 8, negative 2. Okay, so it's asking me for the equation of the median for vertex C. I know by definition, a median is the line going from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So I need to figure out the coordinates, first step, figure out the coordinates of that midpoint. Once I have the coordinates of that midpoint, I can then find the slope of that line and the y-intercept of that line. But first thing I have to do, I have to find the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of AB, so this would be my x1, y1. B will be my second point, x2, y2. I could have reversed those. A could have been my second point, B could have been my first point. Okay, just make sure the 1s and the 2s stay together and each point has an x and a y. Okay? So midpoint, plug it into midpoint formula, add the x coordinates of the endpoints, 0 and 6, 
divide them by 2 to find the middle. Add the y coordinates, 2 and 6. Divide them by 2 to find the middle. And this will give me the x and y coordinates of my midpoint, 6 over 2 and 8 over 2. The numerators are both even numbers, so it'll simplify nicely. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. There we go. My midpoint is 3, 4. So I now know the coordinates to the midpoint. Midpoint is 3, 4. Good. Now what I have to do, I have, next step, I have to find the slope of the median. I have to find the slope of this line. Because in the end, I know I want my equation to be in y equals mx plus b form. So I need the slope. I need the y-intercept. Okay. Here's the equation for slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do, I like to label that new point I found, that new midpoint. I'm going to label that point D. Label it whatever you want, any letter you want, just so I can write down, okay, I'm now going to find the slope, slope of DC. So slope of the median, DC. Okay. I know point C is 8, negative 2, and I just found point D is 3, 4. Okay, so this will be my x1, y1. This will be my x2, y2. Plug it into my slope formula. y2 minus y1, 4 minus negative 2, or minus negative 2. All over x2 minus x1, 3 minus 8. 3 minus 8. That gives me 4 minus negative 2 is 4 plus 2. Two negatives beside each other become plus. 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Okay, um, that negative sign can move to the numerator. That's how we usually write our final answer. So it's negative 6 over 5. Okay, that's our slope of, of the median. Now that we have the slope, okay, remember we want to write it in y equals mx plus b form. So I have the slope. I also have um, two, I have two points on this line. So I can choose either of those points and plug in for x and y, because each point has an x and y coordinate. But once again, remember you choose one of the points that are on the median, either c or D. Don't choose A or B. Those two points are not on this median. Okay? So choose either point C or point D to plug in to find, to find the y-intercept. Okay? So I'm going to choose point D just because um, they're smaller numbers and there's no negatives there so that might make it easier. Okay? So I'm going to choose point D to plug in for x and y. So y equals mx plus b. That's the equation of a line. I know um, D, so I'm using point D to plug in. I could have used C, but I'm going to use D, okay, just because the numbers look easier. Um, don't use A or B. Once again, don't use A or B. A and B are not on the median. Only C and D are. Okay, so point D, the Y coordinate is 4. My slope, I discovered, was negative 6 over 5. The X coordinate is 3 on point D. Plus B, I don't know yet, but I can solve for that because I now have an equation with only one unknown. Okay? We have to remember our fraction laws here. So negative 6 over 5 times 3. Remember, any whole number is over 1. And we're multiplying fractions, just multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. 5 times 1 is 5. So there we go. There's the product of those two fractions. Now I want to get B by itself. So I'm going to move the negative 18 over 5 to the other side. It becomes positive 18 over 5 is equal to b. Okay. Remember, any whole number is over 1. And I want to now, in order to add fractions, we need to have common denominators. So I need to make this have a denominator of 5. So I have to multiply that by 5. But I can't only multiply the denominator by 5. I have to also multiply the numerator by 5 to keep the ratio equivalent. Okay. So 4 times 5 is 20. And 1 times 5 is 5. So 20 over 5 is equal to 4 over 1. Same thing, okay? But it now has a common denominator with 18 over 5, so we can add those fractions. 20 plus 18 is 38 over 5. The denominator stays the same when you're adding or subtracting fractions. So I now have my y-intercept. I can write the final equation of my line because I know my m is negative 6 over 5 and my b is 38 over 5. That's all you need to write the equation of a line is your m and your b, your slope and your line intercept. Don't plug in for x and y in your final answer. Note, only plug in for values m and b, not x and y in the final equation. So y equals negative 6 over 5 x plus our b value is 38 over 5. There's our final answer.
right there. So that's how you write the equation of the median of a triangle. Okay. Um, next lesson, I'm going to show you how to write the equation of a right bisector of a line. Okay. If you have any questions, go to jensenmath.ca or feel free to send me a message. All right. See ya.